Hi, good evening. Today I am going to discuss about introduction to industry 4.0 and uh, industrial internet of things week 12 assignment 12. So welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Beat Basi working as associate professor in the department of computer science and engineering Vignan Snivla Institute of Technology and Sciences for Women. So let's start the assignment questions. First question. Consider the given process, which of the following describes the workflow of an oil and gas industry. And uh, here we are having six statements, apply predictive analysis, second one data analysis by extraction, transform and load process, three deploy IoT solutions in different locations, four accurately identify the required maintenance, five data moves to cloud based analytics platform, six generate on premises stimulated data. And based on this statements, the correct answer is B, 1, 3, 6, 2, 5, 4. So, the correct op uh, option is B. Coming to the second question, IoT enables the pharmaceutical industry to detect allergies, viruses, ADR, both A and C. And the right answer is both A and C. Which of the following are IoT applications in the pharmaceutical industries? A, safe and secure drug delivery. D. Quality control. C. Examine drugs. D. All of the above. And the right answer is D. All of the above. Coming to the fourth question. Which of the following depicts the application of UAV in industries? The options are communicates directly to SCADA and to end connection between a user to a controller through wireless network. C. Radio frequency imaginary of a factory stations and substations. D. All of the above. And the right answer is all of the above. Coming to the fifth question, how to improve the operational excellence in an oil and gas industries? Options are use predictive maintenance, B monitoring fleet operations, C applying location intelligence, D all of the above. And the correct answer is D all of the above. Sixth question, fourth generation of UAV includes A auto action, B three axis gimbals, C. 360 degree gimbals with the transformable design all of the above and the correct answer is B. 3 axis gimbals. Seventh question. UAVs that are connected to IoT are A. Reprogrammable B. Deployed at specified location, specific location C. Measure the required data from same location D. None of the above and the right answer is reprogrammable. Coming to the eighth question. Which of the following? are the impacts of predictive maintenance in a chemical industry a address real time issues b minimize equipment breakdown c improvement of service d all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above ninth question second generation of uav enhances first generation of uav by incorporating and the options are static design b fixing camera mount c still photography D all of the above and the right answer is D all of the above. Coming to the 10th question, 5th generation of UAV enhances 3rd generation of UAV by incorporating A 360 degree gimbals with transformable design, B video recording, C fundamental remote control, D all of the above. And the right answer is A 360 degree gimbals with the transformable design. 11th question. In chemical industry, condition based monitoring includes A. Prediction of quality through continuous monitoring B. Predict weather and its impact on farming C. Pricing model with the profit margin D. All of the above And the right answer is D. All of the above Twelfth question How does the low cost camera platform help in agriculture applications of UAV? And the options are A. Takes effective images by planning their flight path Integrated software helps in covering maximum area of growing yields. C. Both A and B. B. None of the above. And the correct answer is C. Both A and B. Coming to the 13th question. 7th generation of UAV enhances 6th generation of UAV by incorporating A. Auto action. B. Full aid space awareness. C. 1080 HD video. D, both A and B. And the correct answer is both A and B. Coming to the 14th question. Which of the following visualizes UAV as a component of IoT? 
options are A, deployable to various locations, B, capable of conveying adaptable payloads, C, A and B, D, none of the above and the right answer is C, both A and B. For playing the question, which of the following is used in energy management using UAVs? A, inspection of wind turbines, B, inspection of boilers at uh, power plants, C, monitoring the solar panels, D, all of the above and the right answer is D, all of the above. Now you can submit your answers and uh, this is the last assignment and many, many of you have asked about uh, how to prepare for the exam. So NPTEL exam mainly concentrates on the what the material they have given. So you just go to the assignment questions. If you go through the assignment questions, obviously you can get the allied certificate. If you want silver and allied plus certificates, then you need to go to the week one and you need to open the lecture material and you need to go through the lecture materials of all the 12 weeks so no question will be out of the material so if you go through the materials and the assignment questions surely you will get the silver or gold certificate don't worry about the exams so be prepared with the exam all the best for your final exams thank you if you like my videos subscribe and share my channel